you got into coaching thanks to none other than Bill Walsh. Bill correct? Walsh was my coach when I was a rookie player in uh, 1968 with the Cincinnati Bengals. We ran into each other later uh, at another venue, and he said, if I ever get a job, I want you to come be my uh, passing coach. And when he got the 49er job, I was working in Greenville, South Carolina at Sam White Sports World. I'm sure you've bought many products there. Uh, well, I can tell by that laugh you haven't. But anyway. No, no, no. I, I get my running shoes from there, okay. Sam. Yeah. Sure. Okay. <laughs> I, uh, I got a call from Bill, and this was literally after I received two rejection notices from two high schools in North Carolina. I decided I wanted to go back and coach, even if it was a high school. It was going to be fun. And I uh, was Named the director of the passing game. By Bill Walsh. By Bill Walsh, right. Even he, though you were rejected locally in the yeah, Carolinas. Even though it wasn't worth a dime, yeah. Uh, but he uh, he was really didn't want to give up that coordinatorship job just yet. Mm -hmm. But we drafted some young kid out of Notre Dame who really had not had much coaching <laughs> named Joe Montana. And uh, it, I put everything I had into it and made him what he is today. So. <laughs> well, it's just, you know, because we discussed this, uh, you know, before you came out here. It is amazing football and how you can't make stuff up that Bill Walsh was the guy who brought you into coaching. You were there when Montana gets drafted. Mm -hmm. And who's standing on the other sideline when you are coaching the Super Bowl for the Cincinnati Bengals? But Bill those, Walsh and Joe Montana. What That's were you right. thinking about when Montana gets the ball last last drive? Um, Joe is a clutch player. I knew we were in for it. I actually, Dick LeBeau was my defensive coordinator, I've our defensive coordinator. Yeah. First person plural when you're a head coach. You should <laughs> talk that way. But um, he's a terrific coach and been around forever and knows exactly what happens. But we kick a long field goal, really uh, right on the edge of the limit, uh, into the wind, go up by three points, leave them about three minutes, much like Atlanta and New England finished their latest Super Bowl mm -hmm. here. And uh, we, I, I went over to Bill, and I had, I was wired, and they had a camera on me. So they had told me, A, don't go to your nose or your crotch. <laughs> and then they said, uh, when, you're, when you're talking, you know, know that you're being heard, so watch your language or whatever. I turned my back because they're coming from across, and I said, bring five. Bring five. I'm mouthing, bring five people. I know that system. I helped. I was there for the first four years that it was put in. I coached Joe. I know his reads. If you bring five, he'll lay it off. We brought five. He laid it off second and eight. And then we went into the prevent. And um, to Dick LeBeau's credit, we drop a pass that would have won the game for us with about 56 seconds left. But it, we dropped it, and they only had one timeout left. And then about two or three plays later, John Taylor catches the winning touchdown on a perfect pass. And it was uh, a perfect play that won the game, not a bad defense that lost it. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.